As we enter this world, we're constantly looking for the light to guide us through life's challenges. With history repeating itself, it seems we have learned very little about ourselves. Going back to one of the starting points of life, you have the opportunity to reflect on choices made by others and make your own little mark on this world. Welcome to Jerusalem. I'll be your guide. Let us begin. How much do you know about Jerusalem? Although it seems like Jerusalem has been here forever, 4,000 years ago there was nothing here. A tribe of Canaanites built a city here and lived here for a thousand years. But nobody could have imagined the importance of the city they built. King David made the city into the religious center of the Jewish people. His son Solomon built the temple the religious and national center of the people of Israel for a thousand years. So many rulers wanted to control Jerusalem, even at the price of destroying it. But Jerusalem outlasted them all. 300 years after Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem, it became a Christian center. And 300 years later, a Muslim center. And the battles just went on and on. Between the Western Wall, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the Dome of the Rock, rivers of blood were spilled, all in the name of one God. It was Suleiman the Magnificent that rebuilt the city walls, clearly marking the city's outline to this day. World War I ended the Muslim rule of the city with the establishment of a British mandate. The British left 30 years later, but not before promising the city to both the Israelis and Palestinians. The result of Israel's War of Independence was a divided city, only reunited in 1967 after the Six-Day War. Today the old city is still thriving, divided into Christian, Armenian, Muslim and Jewish quarters. Together, yet very much apart. Your challenge is to succeed where others have failed and find the secrets that unite this city as one. The controllers you hold have trigger buttons. Use your index finger to point forward and teleport. Use your middle finger to grab, the joystick activate with and your move items around. Listen carefully to the origins of the sound as they will help you navigate your way. Select the gate to begin. The moon dial can be turned to reveal an Islamic symbol. Can you find what it is? Turn the handle and observe the lunar phases. Al 
Al-Aqsa Mosque, or the farthest mosque, is the third holiest site in Islam. Muslims believe that Muhammad, the founder of Islam, was transported from the sacred mosque in Mecca to Al-Aqsa during the night journey. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ibrahim Ahmad Hassan Abu Hawa. I was born on the top of Mount of Olives, looking over Jerusalem. We are all here, the seed of Ibrahim. We are all Jew, Muslim, Christian, living together, and we have to live in love and peace. Forget about what divides the religions. Focus on these dials and find the similarities between the religions. Jerusalem as the second holy place after Saudi Arabia and after Mecca, Atina. The place where the foot of our holy prophet Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, put his foot in. And that brings some holiness and attachment to this land. People don't know what means Ramadan, but Ramadan is a holiness. And 27th of Ramadan, we believe the sky will be open. As I, I enter the, the area from noon time, after noon time, evening, you have to know to feel all those million people around the world, they are with you and in front of you, and on your left and right. You're not alone. And all the people waiting for that night, because we believe God will listen to our prayer for what we need. It became like one body, one heart that night. And the most brave for our need, asking for peace. How and when all this can be changed? I don't want it tomorrow. I want it now, today. God change something soon. Please God change something soon. Inshallah, he will listen to us. Walk towards the minbar at the farthest end of the mosque. Look around you for the five pillars of Islam. Direct the magnifying glass at the five hidden symbols and press down on the trigger as they appear.
name is a holy name. Like today, what they call Facebook, YouTube, Google, and all that, Internet. Jerusalem is one of the holy place for everyone. I think everyone, when we born without speaking language, we have Jerusalem in us. There's something there. I'm rich. To be in this land, only to be in this land, I'm so rich. I don't have key in my door. I carry a message. God bless us here and bless everyone who live in this city. For that reason, I am here. I don't want to live anywhere in the world. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, thank God, I'm here. Insert the amulet onto the board in front of you. Proceed to the next challenge. The Binding of Isaac is a biblical story that has been the focus of a great deal of commentary in traditional Jewish, Christian and Muslim sources, as well as being addressed by modern scholarship. Can you find the similarities? Turn the handle to reveal the clues. Keep turning until they're all revealed. Step closer to the wall piece. Reach for the cubes inside it.
underground tunnels are remnants of the second Jewish temple, destroyed approximately 2,000 years ago. They surround the holiest place where Jews are permitted to pray. By night, on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the broadways. I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me. Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? Scarce had I passed from them, when I found him whom my soul loveth. I am a wall, and my breasts like the towers thereof. Then was I in his eyes as one that found peace. You're now standing next to the holiest place where Jews are permitted to pray. Shalom. My name is Barak Brandwin. Ninth generation in Jerusalem, the holy city. Jerusalem is at the heart of our lives. A place where every Jew from around the world addresses their prayers to. Facing Jerusalem in every celebration, festivity, and holiday. The place where the Divine Spirit lies. I accept and respect every person from all walks of life in hopes of peace and understanding and respect for every belief and way of life. This lock spells the name of the place where you're standing. Can you unlock the combination? The holy city, that's Jerusalem. The holy city, Beit HaKnikdash, the temple, is the place most sacred to the Jewish people. So when even one individual prays anywhere in the world, he must pray in the direction of Eretz Israel, the land of Israel. And when in Eretz Israel, he should turn toward Jerusalem, and from within Jerusalem, toward the temple. Today, we're forbidden from going up to the temple mount. So we have the western wall. From there, our prayers reach heavenward. Jerusalem is part of us deep within. When I was born here, we had been in Jerusalem for nine generations, but for me, it's a privilege. It often thrills me to wonder what I did to merit being born and getting to live in Jerusalem. From a young age, peace and unity were instilled in me. It's the unity between us and with those outside us, whether it's Arabs, Muslims, Christians, Circassians, Druze, 
I respect them as people. We have no concept of anything like rejection. Whoever the person, whatever the reason. Visitors to the Western Wall have long followed the practice of wedging small slips of paper upon which prayers and petitions are written into the cracks between the stones. Approach the wall and write your own note. According to Jewish tradition, divine presence lies between the cracks of the wall and it is a custom to place a note in the crevices. Grab your note and place it in the crevice. Birkat HaKohanim, the priestly blessing. It's not a random gathering. When we pray, we have faith. So when a person prays with faith, a Jew washes his hands so that they will be clean and makes a blessing on the bread, Motzi Lechem Min Chaharetz, who brings forth bread from the earth. We are Am Israel, the Jewish people. We have faith. There's a book of laws, like when someone's driving a car or someone buys an air conditioner. If we don't read the instructions, we won't know how to behave. This means that our way is the Torah. As one person with one heart, behold how good and how pleasing for brothers to sit together in unity with God's help. Insert the amulet onto the board in front of you. Proceed to the next challenge.
follow the light and make your way across the gate. Complete the puzzle in front of you by aligning the symbols together. Armenia was the first nation to adopt Christianity as its state religion in 301 AD. The Church of St. James dates to 420 AD and nests within a walled compound in the ancient Armenian quarter of Jerusalem's old city. It's the Cathedral of the Armenian Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Hello, my name is Father Samuel Arroyo. I'm the superior of the Holy Sepulchre Church of the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem. I was 15 years old when I first came to Jerusalem. I'm thankful to God that he gave me this opportunity to be here to become more spiritual and knowledgeable. Indeed, Jerusalem could serve as a model for mankind, a city not claimed by anyone that belongs to everyone. Therefore, I am a Jerusalemite. Sinandra, or Gojnax, were introduced when a 14th century Muslim edict forbade churches to ring bells. Please take a mallet and strike the wood to call the faithful to prayer. Flip through the book. When you come to Jerusalem, you see the different uh, churches, temples here built. Something for everyone, for every nation. By coming here, you get great fulfillment. So Jerusalem is the heart of life. And in order to know what Jerusalem is, you have to walk through the streets of Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is God's country, actually, without any discrimination. And Jerusalem is a place for prayer. In the language that you know, in the faith that you believe in, you will see common grounds with your faith and with others in our spiritual or worldly life. And uh, realize how can we work together hand in hand and make our life better here uh, without destroying ourselves. The Armenians came here many, many uh, centuries ago when the Armenians got their freedom as a Christians in their country uh, in 301. According to our history, when they conquered Jerusalem, Crusaders gave Jerusalem as a present to Armenian king to oversee. So we built our Armenian quarter here in Jerusalem, so which is said to be about one-sixth of old Jerusalem, they said, recordly known from seventh century. We still are part of the three main communities in holy places with the Greeks and Catholics. We have say in it. Still, we keep our dignity, we keep our power here. When the 1950 massacre happened, orphans came here, thousands. And I recall when I came in 1956, the um, dormitory of the um, clergy was full with people. In one small room, six people used to live. To protect our people, we took it in as much as possible. They had to follow the rules of the monastery, whether they like it or not. At night, the gate of the monastery is closed for safety at 10 o'clock and opens up by 5 o'clock in the morning. 
and we hope that we will be able to sustain and stay here, keep our existence, so that Jerusalem will not change its beauty. You are standing at the heart of the holiest Christian site in the world. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre was built on the traditional site of Jesus' crucifixion and burial. The key to the enigma of this place lies at its heart. The Stone of Anointing. Tradition believes this to be the spot where Jesus' body was prepared for burial. Make your way across the basilica to the chapel known as the Edicule, containing the tomb of Jesus. Outline the symbol with your hand to unlock the door. Don't be afraid. Place your hand over the tomb. As the holy fire comes from heaven miraculously, I always answer that. I'm waiting for that, you know, I wish it happens, but it doesn't happen all the time. Miracles happen. We believe in miracles, but we cannot set a date ahead of time and tell God on such a day, we want you to perform a miracle to us. God will give the miracle to you, not just to entertain people. That's not for entertainment. The Holy Fire ceremony is the uh, remembrance service of Christ's resurrection. How can you celebrate someone who is risen from the dead? Especially in our case, in the Bible, it says Christ called himself the light of the world. He illuminated the, the world. There have been miracles in the past. The memory of those miracles and the fact that Christ is risen, uh, we celebrate with the light which is done the day before Easter on Saturday afternoon. So what we do today is the Greek Patriarch and the Armenian Patriarch's representative enters in inside, inside the tomb, all the way inside, which I have done three times. And each one will say his own prayer, you know, all lights inside is extinguished. When the prayers are finished, Patriarch lights his bundles of um, candles. We greet each other. Christ is risen, blah, blah, blah. and we come out. I will give my fire to the uh, southern win oval window and the gifts will be from the northern oval window to their congregations.
Insert the amulet onto the board in front of you. Proceed to the next challenge. Be warned, coming from abroad, reading about events occurring in Jerusalem in the Bible may trigger Jerusalem Syndrome. The atmosphere in the city is so suffused with spiritual tension and the holy places can be so awe-inspiring for believers that one may be overcome with a sense of grand things happening and the final salvation at hand. Ring the bell to escape. Jerusalem Citadel, known as the Tower of David, is a medieval fortress built on a series of earlier ancient fortifications. It has served as the symbol of the city of Jerusalem. My name is Ifit Oveni. I'm a musician and sound artist born in Jerusalem. From my early childhood, music and sound were a way for me to disconnect. Jerusalem is very intense. You can sense it in the soundscape of Jerusalem. However, if you listen very carefully, you can hear the silence under the noise. Welcome, listener. Let go of all your other senses and just listen. Now it's time for you to create your own sound. Listen carefully. Identify the sounds and collect them into the box. What's special of the soundscape of Jerusalem that it has so many faces, so many layers, it's not flat. It's many languages, many cultures, many religions, old and new, and the complexity and the richness of the textures, that's what makes Jerusalem unique. Always a conflict between the old and new, between religions and people and languages. But if you try to be very, very uh, perceptive, you can find the little stories. And together it's like a cacophony. Jerusalem in specific is very, very violent. It's very intense and aggressive. Each one of us has the opportunity to change, to be more sensitive to others. I believe we can.
Jerusalem festival is very intense, very complex and very rich and also a lot of emotional intensity that you can feel even without words. Insert the amulet onto the board in front of you. Proceed to the next challenge. According to sitting atop of the noble sanctuary lies the Dome of the Rock. You're standing inside the Dome of the Rock that was built over the foundation stone. It's traditionally believed by Muslims that this is where Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. In the Jewish tradition, this stone seals a hole in the world from which a flood can burst.
know very little about each other, and this ignorance leads to mistrust. But if we just take a moment to think, we will realize that we are all the same after all. Jerusalem could serve as a model for mankind, a city not claimed by anyone that belongs to everyone. Jerusalem is at the core of our lives. It is where every Jew in Israel and throughout the world directs their prayers. This is the Holy City, the place where the Divine Spirit lies. We believe that we are all the children of Abraham, no matter if you are Muslim, Christian, or Jew. This land belongs to God. We are all one. Thank you for visiting the Holy City.